can't even get the camera set up and this guy's hooking fish. Wait, yeah. Was that like 10 fish already? I'm still loving the kitimats. Well, that's a nice color. There go. Beautiful. This is what I'm using. Austin's catching his fish on a kitimat. I am using a Gibbs Coho 35. Now I've put a new hook on this. I like my Gamakatsu hooks, so I put a new Siwash, open eye Siwash hook on there, and it's nice and sharp, barbless, and we'll see what we can do. Hooked up again. That's a nice one. You got a screamer. Oh yeah. <laughs> Kevin says enough of this. Woo, he's peeling line. Thankfully, Austin can land his own fish. I have uh, been dubbed cameraman now. Right on. Careful, you're going to break your rod. We're anchored up this morning. Now, uh, you forgot about anchor line, didn't you? We might be in trouble here. Did he wrap? Yeah, watch that anchor line. It's our first time anchoring this fall. A little bit of wind. Remember, don't, yep, yeah, perfect. Oh, I thought you had him. If your rod gets up on you like that, you, you can break it in half, so you got to be careful. Yeah, he looks healthy. He's good to go. Okay, Austin, show us what you're using. What are you using here? I am using a Gibbs Kitimat 45. Gibbs Kitimat 45. That's the original hooks. Austin has not changed his hooks. They usually come all red. Look how beat up that is. This spoon has hooked about 15 fish already this morning. Stay tuned. And if you haven't done so already, please subscribe to our channel. Oh, let it sink. Austin says you have to let these sink. I keep forgetting. And then reel in slow. That's been my trouble. Reel in really, really slow. He's hooked up again. Again he's hooked up. Right on. I might have to change to a kitimat. You might just be fishing the weed bed, so let's let's rule that out first. Close the bale. Tighten it up. Let it sink. Let it sink. So I pass it out and, and then we reel in. I close my belt and just let the whole line go straight. All right. I'm going to have to change. I might be changing to Kitimat spoon. Why would I change to a gold Kitimat and experiment when you're hooking fish on the copper? Did you take mine? Oh, Austin. Oh, Austin, I think you took mine. Oh, I see why you're saying switch to gold. Hmm. Oh, there's one. Got one. This is a Kitimat, a Gibbs Kitimat 45. That's what they look like. I have put another hook on this one. This is a Maruto hook. We'll see if that works. Yeah. Your fish have also been inhaling your spoon. Oh, he's got one.
Oh, that feels way heavier, eh? Close the bale, tighten it up, let it sit. I like to have the line nice and straight. Oh, Austin's trying to teach us here. He just lets it sit. He doesn't even tighten his line. Oh, that's true. That is true. Okay, I've probably hit the bottom now. Yeah, hooked up on weeds. That doesn't look like weeds to me. Yeah, my coho rod's not bending very much. You never know. Oh. That was a good size. I'm the kid I'm at. What he was caught on. It changed up. It didn't take long. First, first cast with the kid I'm at. Okay, Austin, I'm a believer now. There we go. No. Just a scrappy one. He's rolling like crazy. Hooks out. Coho has been working, now it's switched off, and now it's the kid I'm at. Yeah. That is a nice one. I think he has one more run in him. Yeah, one more run. <laughs> yeah, don't do that. There you go, you're out. Bring it over here, let's see that thing. Okay, he's ready. Gotta love the sound of geese in the morning. Oh, oh, there we go. Another little one. Not those big footballs you've been catching. I don't like it when they thrash like that in the net. Because that's, that's where they cause the most damage, I think. Again, Gibbs Kidamat strikes again. He's ready to go. Here we go. a little nicer. Uh oh. I just lost him. Always keep reeling though, you don't know. Yeah, he's gone. Careful.
legs wrapped. When they're wrapped like that, you gotta let them pull away from you. Otherwise, they get the line in the gills and it's not good. Just listen for it to come out of the water. Watch your rod. There you go. Okay, we'll just drift. Do you know how to drop it? Okay, when you're ready. Ready? Yep. Yeah. I'm in neutral. Hold on. Let out extra line. Okay, perfect. There he is. Oh, that is a nice one. He's just doing his roll. It is a football. Look at that. He's just not fighting very well. I don't think he's done. That's, yeah, three or four. Okay, give him a, give him a minute. Let's, yeah. let's give him a minute here. Okay, he's coming off now. Only kid him out again. <laughs> oh, no, he's rolling. No. No, no. Okay, he's off. He is off. No, no. <sighs> <laughs> That's a nice fish. So kitamats are working because they stay deeper in the water column. So if the fish are hugging the bottom, we're getting down to the fish, right? Kitamats are a heavier spoon. And we're using the 45s, right? So the 45s are a little bit heavier than the 35s of the cohos and all the other ones. That's what's helping us today. Hooked up. They like to roll, eh? Ooh, a nice horse fly. Beautiful. Oh, those may be goldfish, we'll see. Not a goldfish. <laughs> I mean, it, still could be. it could be, yeah, it could be the biggest goldfish I've ever caught. The only goldfish I've ever caught. Oh yeah, nice colors. Kitimat spoon strikes again. Kitimat spoon is the new hottest thing. All right, roll that out of his mouth. Look at that, right in the right in the lip. A yeah. stiff upper lip. Oh, that easily came out yeah, of let's take a look at that spoon again. That's what's working. Kitimat 45 with Maruto. Oh no, sorry, those are Gamakatsu big river bait hooks. Okay. Let's let him go. I always get stuck in the net. Oh, he is ready. <laughs> Just wants to go down. There he goes. Right on. Okay, you can keep eating. You don't need to fish. Let me catch a couple. Hmm? So the kitimats, they're a heavier spoon. We're using the 45 size and kitimat. They're heavier 
And look at that, he's hooked up. We cast, we're drifting this way and we cast that way. That allows that spoon to stay deeper so we can reel it in slower. All the boats are coming out. Everyone finally had their bacon and eggs and they're coming fishing. They missed the morning bite. Look at them all. They're all going the same same side there. There was another guy. Some of them come down from Prince George, so they wake up early and they drive down. We'll spend the day here. Oh, that's a nice one. Whoa, yeah, Austin. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Oh, these kitamats are just, yeah, if we haven't showed you enough, those things are awesome. They are working really well. Well, if that spoon hits the water, if they're feeding, he'll hear it, turn around and look for it. I am going to go back to my coho spoon. I got a feeling. So I'm gonna start catching more. Kid Matt, where it's at, hey? Try over here first. Yeah. Yeah. They work. I don't know. I think under dark skies, so dark, dark lures, dark, light, light. So the the. Yeah. That's right. I think that's the key here. I think the coho spoon is a little bit more forgiving where it rolls a little more. <laughs> Still fun. That water is so murky here. on the coho. Okay, just let him go. <laughs> cool. Want to anchor? Oh. Huh? You don't want to anchor? I can net him for you. He's not done. No. He's just a little guy. Corner of the mouth, love it. 